The campaign 2018, the staff inside the Broward County Supervisor of Elections Office is hard at work recounting ballots from last week's midterm elections. Mommy Dade is ahead of the game. The Supervisor of Elections there saying the machine recount was completed last night. And breaking news, Governor Rick Scott will step down from the state's canvassing commission, which will clarify the election results. The deadline to finish the recount is tomorrow afternoon, and they're still counting in Broward. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live outside Broward County Election Headquarters in Lauder Hill with the latest. Joan? Lots of optimism inside this building today. They say at this point they are now approaching the 60% recount mark. Broward election officials said they are more than half done. Wednesday morning, they began running under 200,000 mail-in ballots through the high-speed machines. We won't miss that deadline. It's too critical. We won't miss it. Late Tuesday night, Broward Supervisor of Elections Dr. Brenda Snipes said she will have the recount done by the Thursday deadline. Earlier, Snipes hinted at a different future sometime after the recount. I think I have served the purpose that I came here for which was to provide a credible election product for our voters. Snipes has faced criticism for the way she handled the midterm. Facebook confirms people have even posted Snipes' phone number and home address online. To misuse their personal information, to make their families uncomfortable, it kind of throws me back. In a statement, a spokesperson for the social media giant said the sharing of personal information is not permitted on our platform, and we have removed multiple instances of such information being shared. As we find similar instances, we will also remove those. Now back here live in the parking lot, a pop-up protest is happening as we speak. They are members who of the uh, volunteers with the Republican Party who are now engaged in a war of words with members of the Democratic Party who came here this morning um, asking that the governor recuse himself. As you reported earlier, that has now happened. They're also saying that some voters on Election Day were disenfranchised, were not given the right to vote, and they are asking for an extension here in Broward. This is all just unfolding right now. Uh, we'll bring you the latest starting at 5. In Lauder Hill at this noon, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. Joan, another busy day there. Thank you. Our